What up, it's your boy Josh, AKA Big Beef, AKA Salino and Barnes Injury Attorneys, AKA 2008 JV Basketball Most Improved Player. And it's that time again. Time to take two snacks and smash them together into one delicious snack baby. And this time I've enlisted the help of Nicole and Trevor to help me bring those beautiful snack babies to life. We asked you which two snacks you want to see smashed and you picked Doritos and Reese's Peanut Butter Cups. Will this snack be a smash? Find out, because this is Snack Smash. <laughs> A couple ways we could go with this. I think what we need to do, make unflavored Doritos from scratch. So we need to make just like the base chip. God, oh, that's oh. so good. That's real good, yeah. <laughs> we need to take the Reese's Peanut Butter Cups and turn that into the flavor powder. We could either make one peanut butter and one chocolate, do it Reese's Puff style, or we could do a chocolate peanut butter flavor. I think we should do two. Do two? I think it'd be cool if we did two. As far as the Doritos go, corn and vegetable oil are the only two things listed. Everything else on here is cheddar cheese, MSG, Romano cheese. They're using Romano cheese in this? Ray Romano! That's a fun one. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, they got my cheese in here. Who's Ray Romano? God, Trevor's too young. <laughs> I think we should use Maseca, the stuff mm -hmm. you make tortillas from. Oh yeah. And then yeah. to get a little bit of that corn flavor and crunch in there, I think we should use like whole cornmeal. Flavoring on this, I'm gonna hit them with the old maltodextrin razzle dazzle. I would love to. I think we should try and take the actual Reese's cup and then dissect it into two different parts and then use maltodextrin to powder those separately and then use that as a dusting for our chips. But who's Wait. gonna do that? Let's Nose goes. Do we... <laughs> Trevor, you got the steadiest hands of all of us, man. You're gonna separate the peanut butter from the chocolate in that. Nicole, you're gonna hit him with the old maltodextrin razzle dazzle yeah. and then I'm gonna make the Doritos and do the handshake that we all practice. <laughs> okay. I don't think the mallet's gonna be useful. So what I'm doing is I'm taking each individual Reese's cup and I'm extracting the peanut butter from the chocolate as precisely as I can using a paring knife, X-Acto knife, and a very small offset spatula. So I'm just gonna separate, you know, as much of this peanut butter off of the chocolate as I can. And gloves are important because I don't want chocolate and peanut butter all over my hands. And I'm not like Josh. I don't like my hands to be dirty all the time. I'm not a disgusting person. <laughs> Glad I went to culinary school, you know, because all those tools and techniques that I learned then are really helping me now. My dream job when I decided to go to culinary school was a personal baker for LeBron James. That was number one, and then somewhere in my subconscious, this was number two for sure. I'm so talented. <laughs> Look at me. Okay, I'm gonna make some powders. So Trevor went ahead and dissected these beautifully. And then I took the chocolates and then I just melted them in a microwave, just making it nice and melted. So when I put in the maltodextrin powder, it won't be such a stark difference of like when I'm combining it. Maltodextrin powder is this chemical that's from tapioca, I believe. You add it to whatever product you're working with and it evaporates all of the fat. So if I were to make like an olive oil dust, I would just take straight olive oil, pour it into like a huge vat of maltodextrin and then have like these really cool chunks of olive oil flavored powder. I'm just gonna fold it over it and I'm just gonna crush this in here. I make a lot of Narcos jokes because of all the white powders I'm using. A little bit of cornstarch and a little bit of powdered sugar. I'm gonna mix them all together. And I like to do this by hand versus in a food processor because I get to control it and I like to be in control all the time, always. Try this. That's good, perfect. So I'm gonna repeat the same process with my peanut butter. So Josh has no measuring style. I used to be a very precise, accurate young woman. I would care about quarter teaspoons and eighths of teaspoons. No, no, not anymore. Working in the mythical kitchen has changed me in ways I would have never expected. I am more careless. I'm just gonna kind of use my hands a little bit to rub it in. There we go. I just kind of move with the flow. That looks like peanut butter powder, right? Okay, cool. That's good, let me try this. Oh, that's perfect. I'm a little bit worried that the chips might be like too intense of a flavor because once the chocolate kind of oxidized after it was hanging out with the maltodextrin, it was like really, really dark. And I was worried that like, oh, it might be like too, too chocolatey or too bitter, but I don't know. I'm like hoping for the best. And then I'm just gonna put it through this Tammy. Her name is Tammy. I just actually called it Tammy too. I'm just gonna kind of shake it out create a really fine, beautiful powder. I'm also gonna do this like a few times cause I don't wanna cake up my Tammy, you know? When I mean caking up my Tammy, I mean caking up my Tammy. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Yeah, no, okay, sorry. <laughs> okay, now I'm gonna do my peanut butter. 
I have a really good feeling about how this is going to turn out. It's probably gonna be really salty and really sweet, and it's gonna be like a delicious amalgamation of two really, really polar opposite snacks. So my fingers are crossed. I'm hoping for the best. Wow. That looks awesome. I know what you're thinking. Josh, what the H-E double toothpicks and Doritos just a fried tortilla chip? Why do you have all these ingredients out here? Why aren't you just frying up tortillas? They're actually not. They're a fried corn product made with raw corn materials. That's exactly what we're gonna do. I can't have a Dorito in my hand, not yet. So to make the Doritos, first we have to start with the dough. We're using a mixture of maseca, which is corn that's been treated with lye and then dried and ground. For the first time ever, I've decided to measure something. This is a big moment. Please clap, please clap. I'm... Jeb Bush 2020, he's not running, but he's coming, baby. We're gonna mix the maseca with the cornmeal. That's about a half cup. That's kind of a measurement. I'm mean, using a big, bigger measurement to make a smaller measurement. And then we're gonna add water and a little bit of baking powder just to kind of get a little bit of rise and get like an extra crispy crunch. I don't even know how to use these things, man. All right, get a half teaspoon. And now we just need to mix this up with a fork. Doritos have these little micro bubbles in them that gives them this extra crispy texture that makes them different from say a normal tortilla chip. So I'm putting baking powder in there. That way, when it gets in the heat, you're gonna get little chemical reactions, carbon dioxide bubbles. That should give you extra Dorito crunch. Notice I'm not using my hands. I've evolved as a person. There's gonna add our water in there. And then you should mix this up with a fork until it becomes a nice pliable Dorito. Dough? Mm. No? Yeah, it wouldn't be great. Here we go, now the dough is feeling nice and pliable. Then I'm rolling that out in between two silicone mats so nothing sticks together. Pam, food lube, very important in the kitchen. And let's see if it works. All right, mash it out with your hands a little bit. Put this over. You wanna get it super, super thin, but not too thin. You don't want it to be like translucently thin. Now, if we've lubed up enough, this should be able to just slide right past each other. Let's see. Yes? Yes! God, I'm good at this, okay. I'm using a Dorito mold that Mike Paisley made me because he's very talented. And then I'm punching out the Doritos. This is the arts and crafts portion of the day. just like my grandma does in her retirement home. I once made my grandma uh, apron in home ec in seventh grade and she still uses it, but my brother made her one and it was green and she threw it out because that color is cursed in my family. That's real. Very cleanly. Ah, look at that. You got a nice little Dorito chip. See, it's pretty thin, but not too thin. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna put it in the oil, and the real key here is to agitate the oil. You can agitate a chip in many ways. Um, the first is attacking its masculinity. There we go, and we have the oil at about 315 degrees. We don't want it to be too hot because then you're gonna get too much browning on the chip. You can agitate a Josh in many ways. Uh, the easiest is to attack its masculinity. Yeah, look at that, you can already see him forming. You agitate a Ben by basically doing any of the things that I do on set on a daily basis. So check this out. You see some of those micro bubbles that we talked about that are formed. Let's just flip open that burning hot chip. Ow, I'm gonna put it in there a little bit, see if I can get a little bit more agitation on there. And then we're frying the chips individually because I, I'm an incredibly precise cook, as you all know. Uh, so I don't know, come back in like, what, six hours? A little lunch break? I've had to pee this whole time. Welcome to the Dorito Network. I'm Josh and you're watching Doritos. Okay, so we got our chips all made. These all have been individually fried. See those awesome air bubbles? You got your powders. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna drop the chips in the oil very briefly, and then we're gonna take them out with this, and then I'm gonna throw them into the bowl, and then you're gonna toss them. And then the Costco truck <laughs> needs to shut the H up! Count down from 10. 10, nine, nine, eight, eight, seven, six, six five, five, four, Mississippi, three, Mississippi, two, Mississippi. one. Go! We did 10. Oh, oh, that was it? 10. Oh god, I lost the chip, I lost the chip. Okay, okay. Go, 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 toss, toss, toss. Trevor. It's hot, it's hot, yeah. it's No, hot. toss with your hands. To like, use the bowl to flip. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah there it is. Okay. Trevor, they're coming your way soon, buddy. You gotta be ready, you gotta be ready. Get your hands up, kids. They're sticking Six. together! I'm not catching them with my hands. Toss it! Two. Toss it faster! One. My god! Go, go, go! What do I have to do to motivate you? Go. Toss. Wait. How do I reach these kids? Whoa, I hit puberty in real time. <laughs> that is fantastic. I felt something in my pants drop. <laughs> oh my God, these are too hot. Well, yeah, so, no, you gotta. <sighs> There's so much powder. Josh, you're- That's fine. why you blow on it. You're an unsanitary oh, man. Let's try this. Where do we go? Do you see this? Oh, you Pam? mean like what Nicole and I said to do? <laughs> Pam, now try it. Oh, wow, look at that. Wow. Perfectly dusted Dorito. Does the Pam work? Yeah. That's great. Don't wow. you love that? When you fail, it gives you an opportunity to learn. Pam my chips, dog. And if you Come succeed, on. then you don't have the, opportunity is the real failure, and success. You'll get there. Is the 
Trophy. Yeah. No go. You got it. Can you pam the chip? I got it. We should just pam down the whole floor and turn this place into a freaking slip and slide. Ooh. These look like chocolate and peanut butter Doritos. Yeah. I really like what's happening here. <laughs> Nicole, if we did a high five, it would be a Reese's high five. Yeah, let's do it. Ready? Yeah. And Josh wants <laughs> to be included. Hi right, guys, we spent so much time making these beautiful Doritos, but what makes you want to eat Doritos? Doritos? No, the bag. Hi right, guys, now we gotta taste these. We put in all that hard work. This is the moment of truth. I'm so excited. I'll give that a huff. <gasps> Ooh. Ooh. Oh my gosh. Oh yeah. Grab a handful. That's distinct. <laughs> These, they're a little cakey, which makes me excited. But we still got the distinct two layers. They're kind of bleeding into each other a little bit. I think we should celebrate by gingerly touching our tips. All right. <laughs> it crunches like a Dorito. Mm-hmm. The tip's on point. And my mouth does not know what it's experiencing right now. Mine either. Wait, why do you guys seem so apprehensive? I'm trying to think. I'm confused. My mouth is confused by what's going on. That's an explosion of flavor. Mm. Mm. My it's... mind is telling me yeah, but my body is also telling me yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it does taste like the perfect marriage between the two. Did you put salt in the chips at all? No. It's like perfectly salty. I'm coming with the peanut butter because the yeah. peanut butter in Reese's is, is a little bit salty. Yeah, it's like the perfect amount of like salt to complement like a mm. buttload of sweet, you know? There's a buttload of sweet. We put <laughs> we put the butt in ourselves. Yeah. I extracted the butt directly you, from the Reese's cup. So you get the crunch from the Dorito. It's got like that perfect little airy crispiness. A little bit of salt from the peanut butter. And when you combine the two, like you get the exact essence of a Reese's in your mouth. And you get dust you on get your fingers. Dorito oh, we got, fingers. We got Reese's Dorito fingers. You got Good a snack on. for later. <laughs> okay, so we have our official smash or pass paddles here. And we're gonna vote on this snack on a three, two, one go. You guys ready? Yes. All right. Three, two, one, go. We're all smashing this snack. Woo! Yeah, this is absolutely incredible. Like you get the savory and sweet from it. It's super addicting. You could keep eating it all day. These Reese's Doritos absolutely smash. I agree. These need to be on shows. But guys, is it about the Reese's Doritos or is it about the friendships we made along the way? Thank you guys so much for watching. Keep a lookout next Tuesday. We got another episode of Snack Smash and we got more recipe videos coming your way. Also a really big surprise coming out tomorrow on Mythical Kitchen. Thanks for stopping by and I'll see you next time. Get as messy as you want in your kitchen when you have the Mythical Kitchen Towel. Available now at mythical.com.